I have been painting all of my life, painting since I could hold a paintbrush. I live in Fulham in London. I live quite close to the River Thames and I walk along the River Thames an awful lot. And that's where I get a lot of my inspiration from, from my painting. That's always been my love. And then I became an accountant because I was good at academic subjects and um, discovered that actually I needed to go back into something more creative. I love the process of having a really scary piece of white paper or a white canvas and then piling in with paint. I love colour, I love light, I love energy and I like to bring all that in and make the piece of paper or canvas explode with joy and happiness. That's where I'm coming from. The subject matter that I paint most is either street scenes, river scenes around my local area or flowers. I love flowers because you can put so much expression into them, you can put any choice of colour into them, you can play around with them, you can paint with them in front of you, you can paint with them when they're not there and um, they, they do give a huge freedom to then take the learning from that process back into painting the street scenes and the river scenes. When I start my painting process, what I actually do is walk around with a massive, great big sketch pad and a few really chunky pens. And I look at what I, it's inspiring me and I draw just the few lines that show me, remind me what, where the energy is coming from in a scene. When somebody came up to me, the first time they came up to me and actually expressed to me, how they felt about my painting and it was exactly how I had felt when I made the painting. It was so exciting to know that I can take what's in my head and it be almost telepathically put inside somebody else's head and for them to feel the same way that I felt when I made it is just really life-affirming, yeah. The River Thames is very special to me because it is a beautiful open space that feels really fresh. When the sailors are down there as well, there might only be one or two of them and they just sort of float up like ghosts and they've got their reflections in the water as well. And then you get the starbursts on the water of the sun when it's low. It's just, it's so magical. It's, it's really therapeutic as well as being a great um, place for me to be inspired.